everybody, Supercat Craze here. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to record Gorilla Tag through your PC and on Standalone Quest. We will first start with Steam, so just skip to this time in the video, and then it will be on Standalone Quest. Hold up though, I gotta get in a green screen monkey. Whoa! Hello. For Steam, you need to install OBS Studio, Steam, and the Oculus app. The Oculus app might take a while downloading, so you just gotta be patient with it. Trust in the process. Once you have installed Steam, though, you have to install Steam VR and Gorilla Tag. Now you gotta get a nice long USB-C cable and plug it into your headset and your computer. If you don't have one, I would recommend this one um, and link in the description along with all of the other apps that you need to download to record Gorilla Tag. Now you wanna put on your VR headset on Standalone Quest and then you wanna connect to Oculus Link. A pop-up should appear whenever you plug the cable into your headset. Just click on that and then it'll take you to Oculus Link. If this does not work though, just restart your headset and your computer and then make sure that the cable is in the port correctly. Now, once you're in Oculus Link, you need to load up Steam VR. Reminder to load up Steam VR, not Steam. If you load up Steam, then it's just gonna be like regular. If you load up Steam VR though, you will see things around your VR environment change. Steam VR should look something like this. Now, once you have Steam VR, open up Girl Attack. Now you're in Girl Attack, take your headset off and go back to your PC. Open up OBS Studio and take the wizard test. This will give you the perfect recording settings for your computer and Gorilla Tag. Now add a game capture and name that game capture Gorilla Tag and then make sure that the game capture is capturing the screen Gorilla Tag. Now, if you don't see Gorilla Tag on your screen or it's like not fitted perfectly to the screen, you need to right click above the Gorilla Tag game capture and then go to transform and then fit to screen. This should fix all of that. Now for your sound, you have to go to the audio properties tab. Once you're in the audio properties tab, from here, make the mic go to Oculus Virtual blah blah blah, something that should have your VR headset name in it. Do the same thing for the desktop audio. Now click record and you are recording, yay! Also, if you wanna get better gameplay footage and just overall have a better feel to the game while you're recording, install the camera mod, it makes things a lot easier. Also, if you need help, just go down to the comments and I'll try to respond as quickly as I can. Oh, and then this is for the people who just clicked to the time you didn't watch the video i'm just kidding you're fine on to oculus now for oculus i only have a quest 2 so the quest 3 gui or how the screen appears might be different than what the quest 2 has but you can try to relate and maybe just search it up on google and it will help you i don't know so first you need to download the oculus app on your phone this is on ios and android so there are links in the description as always now you're going to connect your headset with bluetooth to your phone so this way your headset is connected to your phone you can get all your media easily now you are going to record in your oculus and then go to the media section once in the media section you should see like three little dots Click those and then make it upload to the cloud or it should say something like that. Once you have clicked that, it is uploading to the cloud. So give it like five to 10 minutes to upload and make sure that your VR headset is running while it's uploading. Once the upload is complete, there will be like a little pop-up saying that it's done. And from here, you just go to your phone, go to the gallery section, and then you should see your video that you just recorded. Now you can click that video, download it, and then put it into your editing software on your phone. Yeah. All right, so you wanna record your videos on standalone quest, but you wanna edit them on your computer. There is actually a way to do this. All you need is a USB-C cable. And pro tip, you can use the cable that Oculus Quest 2 gives you. It just has to be a USB-C cable. So first you're gonna record your Gorilla Tech video as always through the regular standalone quest. Then you're going to plug in your USB-C cable into your headset and the PC. Then you're going to actually put your VR headset on and allow access to the computer to like access your files I don't know, safety reason. I don't know. Now from here, go back onto your PC and navigate to the files section or videos on your Oculus Quest 2. And from there, you should see the recordings that you've just taken on your Quest. Now you can download these videos and put them into an editing software on your computer. Yay! As always, if you have any questions or problems with this, just leave it in the comments below. Also, as always, the links to downloading all of these apps and the USB-C cable will be in the description if you don't already have these. That's really it. I'm Super Guy Craze trying to hit 3K before the end of this year. And yep, that's it. Bye guys! Woo! I'm gonna do suicide. You ready for this?